everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and hanging out with me for today's video, which is a cozy living room tour. I'm going to leave you with some music to have a look through and then I'm going to jump back on and have quite a long chat about where all the pieces are from and where I found everything. So enjoy having a look around and I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so let's start talking about where all the bits and pieces are from and I will take you through all the items, all the furniture and all the styling pieces. 
The TV frame is from Ikea and I absolutely love it. Obviously it's quite affordable being from Ikea. I don't know why, but they've discontinued the smaller side sizes. The big middle size is still in stock and it's great because you can get the, the drawers to add additional hidden storage. So I like the fact that it's got open storage for things that you wanna display because I do like having things on display and switching it up every now and then to keep it interesting, but it's also got the drawers for the things that you wanna keep, but you just don't wanna have out on display. This drawer just has card games in it, so more like adult type card games and just a spare packet of tissues because it's easy to store it there because you refill it just straight up to there, so that makes sense to store it in. This top drawer just has more kind of kids type games, not board games, they're stored in my kids' bedroom, but just some little kids type games. And this top drawer is where I keep all of the DVDs and CDs that I have decluttered and I still want to keep. The next drawer down is just a random organizational drawer. It just has some tech cords that I need frequent access to, some twistable crayons, just some bits and pieces, and then all of the attachments to my Dyson vacuum cleaners. Now in this drawer, we just have some tea light candles, essential oils, batteries, some miscellaneous guitar things, candle lighter, Easter decoration randomly in there, uh, some plugs and some light bulbs. And in this next drawer down, it is actually empty. I think I might um, have something in mind that I want to store in there. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of decluttering over here just so all this can fit in without having those on the floor but that's for another day another video for another Straight day here came from TK Maxx from Target which is where I keep just some matches although I do prefer just to use that lighter just because it's so much easier on this little tray, it just keeps the remote controls hidden and out of sight because they can be, you know, a little bit ugly, a bit unsightly. This glass terrarium that I have, it is $8 from Kmart and then just an acrylic holder to hold tissues. On the next shelf up, I've just got some um, photos of when my boys were littler. And then this elephant my boys gave me for Christmas last year. So this one's from Maya. And the frames here are from Ikea. On the top shelf here, I just have a little glass vase, like a little hurricane vase that I think is actually a candle holder or something. Um, but it's just got some shells. And each time we go to the beach, we just pick up some shells and add it to our little collection. Another little shell just for decor. And then this wooden whale, I found this at a cute little store in Byron Bay, just when we went on a holiday there. And his name is, his name is Dean. And that's so funny because I used to work with a guy called Dean. So, Dino. And along the bottom shelf, I have these Ikea, they're fake rattan, because they're like a plasticky material. Um, they're pot plant holders, and obviously to be waterproof, they're made out of like a, a faux rattan but they just hold some catalogues, magazines that I keep mostly for recipes and cooking um, inspiration. Along the bottom, some of the books. So I do have some books in the hallway, in the bookcases that are out in the hallway, but this is where, and I have decluttered my books significantly over the last few years, but these are the ones that I definitely wanna keep. And then we've just added to the collection of those Harry Potter books that I showed in a couple of videos ago the harry potter books from kmart over on the other side in the other rattan faux rattan pot plant holder i just have a little throw where i can just pull it out and then just lay it down on the carpet if my kids want to have snacks like watching a movie eating popcorn or anything because i don't want anything getting on the beautiful new rug which i absolutely flipping love up on the top shelf along here, I've just got some candlesticks that are again from Ikea. That shell decorative piece, um, my boys gave that to me for Christmas also and it was from Maya as well. 
those white vases are also from Ikea and the little red love heart I bought that from someone that I saw on Instagram years and years ago like five years ago now oil burner in the shape of the laboratory Bunsen burner type situation thing that is probably one of the first things that I got from Kmart when Kmart started to become really like trendy um, on Instagram letterboard that says I love you so so much is from Target and I have this quote I love you so so much because when my eldest son I think it was when he was five he was given one of those like handheld Nintendo game console things for a gift and on it you can record yourself and speed up the voice and he recorded me I said the phrase hi Jakey it's your mum I love you so so much and then he sped it up so it was like a little chipmunk thing and we laughed and laughed and laughed and every time that I want to make him laugh all I have to say to him is hi Jakey it's your mum I love you so so much so that's why I've got that little quote there the cross the quartz cross that was also a great find from Kmart. I get a lot of people asking me about that but that is well and truly out of stock. That's a really old line. They don't stock that anymore. That is just a little decorative glass bottle that I've put there for decor and the wooden beads also come from Kmart. I recently picked those up. They are current and they are in stock and I just think they look kind of cute. This print of my boys here is probably one of my favorite things in my whole apartment. So one of my girlfriends, Bookie, uh, gave it to me for my birthday one year and I was like oh my gosh that's amazing and the way she did it was she just went on my Facebook page got a picture of the boys and put it onto her laptop and then she put a piece of paper over the top of her laptop screen and she just kind of traced over the photo and so it looks like it's hand-drawn which it is it's hand-drawn but it's kind of traced over and I actually tried that hack. I did some pictures of um, Freddie Mercury and Elton John, George Michael. It's actually a really great hack. And I think it makes a really beautiful, really thoughtful handmade gift if you are, you know, looking to do something a little bit creative. These little lamps are also from Ikea. I have those in my bedroom as well as my bedside lamps. And behind the frame is just this dimmer switch that I also picked up from Ikea, which again, they don't stock it anymore, which is ridiculous because it's great. It's a little dimmer switch that you just plug whatever you want any of your lamps into and it converts it into a dimmable lamp situation. So that's cute. And I just love the fact that it gives off a really nice ambient glow. It's not harsh lighting. Up the top we have another two Devil's Ivy plants just in some basic plain white Ikea planters. And then I just have a wine decanter and then a huge wine glass that was a present from one of my girlfriends for my birthday. Now this is the last thing that I have found for the apartment and I'm actually looking for a second one because they are huge and they will hold a ton of stuff for storage. And randomly I'm actually thinking of storing my juicer in, the, in there random thing to be storing in your living room but when you live in a small place you've got to make the most of storage wherever it's available and that was so huge and that was just from big w it's new and it's current uh and i think it was like 29 uh 29 for a smaller size and 39 for that size 40 bucks it sounds expensive for a basket but it's really massive um, and it's really sturdy really good quality so i'm happy to spend a bit more on that and then just up there my Kmart fruit bowl which I'm not using at the moment but I do want to keep it and again that's kind of what I bought this for to store potentially uh, decor items that I don't want to get rid of but I just want to switch out every now and then so moving down here these side tables are from Kmart they I think they were like $29 each and I bought them when we moved into this apartment because I remember uh, I put them in a video of me putting them together they do sometimes come back in stock and they also have like a hallway console table which is really good. I like that and I kind of wish I had a got it. That's my regret that I didn't buy the console table when I when that was in stock. This three burner candle with the hammered gold is also from Kmart. I think that was about $12 or something. These are from Ikea, just some little decor pieces. They don't stock these anymore but that is where they were from. You can always find little decor pieces, decorative things in Ikea, just in the section where all the photo frames and things are. And then just another little aloe vera plant. The world map and the frame are both from Ikea. I've had those for a while now, so I'm not actually sure if the world map print is still current at Ikea. Uh, Sunday Stylist light box that is just from Kmart. 
The little hourglass is from Ikea. Gold pineapple tray, I think it's either from Kmart or Target. Candle is from Ikea. Just a few little pot plants. Again, the pot is from Ikea and that is just an empty glass jar that I've got that propagated devil's ivy pythos. It's called something like that. Um, little books for decoration there and another Kmart candle. My little lovebirds and all the leftover beers and miscellaneous alcohol from my little party that I had a couple of weeks ago that I'm going to be drinking beer forever, I think. And then some lovely gifts that my old boss, not my old boss, my gosh, I've got to stop calling her my old boss, my favourite boss. This was from my friend Jono, who is the consultant at the 8th Mile that I mentioned in my last video, 13 Reasons Why Your Life is a Mess. And if you haven't gone and watched that, be sure to go check it out because it's an awesome video. Uh, it's got heaps of great life tips for women, or for anyone really, speaking 100% from experience. Uh, and I'm really getting some great comments back on that video. So I appreciate everyone who has taken the time to comment uh, Really great feedback and I'm really glad because I was thinking oh gee this could be this could go This is one of those videos that could go either way. <laughs> it's um, it's very honest Dropping some truth bombs, but that is the only way I do things keeping it real. So the rug here. It is the Chibola I think it's called Chibola Chibola it's from rugsofbeauty.com.au. They're an online store. They have got tons of rugs. They've always got really good sales and specials. So keep an eye out for that. This little side table, it is again also from Kmart. It's the same as the other one. A little placemat from Ikea. This also is from Ikea, this little white and bamboo tray. These coasters are from Kmart. Ikea candle another Ikea hourglass and I have two because I used to have this on my desk uh, in my office at work but now since I have resigned I bought it home and I've just decorated the house with it then here this plant it's actually a plant that I've had for I'm gonna say five or six years and it's from Ikea also but it's a cutting from the main plant that I've taken and I have taken so many cuttings from the main original plant. The original plant is actually out there on the balcony and it is so huge and as I said I've taken so many cuttings off this thing and you literally just break off a piece of it let it dry out for a day or so and then stick it in the dirt and that's it it starts growing a new one like you can see here there's one there's one and I often give them as gifts so I'll just grow a little off cut and plant them up in these little things that you can get from from Kmart and they make just lovely little you know gifts for teachers or I give one to a work colleague once the sofas are just two chaise longs from the soda ham range of sofas from Ikea again I did put, I have a video on my channel where I built them and put them together, so I'll definitely leave a link for that. And I absolutely love them. I was kind of worried that they wouldn't be super, super comfortable because it looks quite thin. But honestly, these things are such comfortable sofas. I have slept and fallen asleep and slept on these sofas numerous times. Uh, and I love the fact that they're so versatile that you can, you know, change the configuration around. So we just switch them around like I showed before or I will show depending on when I edit it um, just to either have two separate ones that we can use to sit on or push them together if we all want to jump on the sofa and watch a movie or you can buy this as an extra piece the armrest or the extra it's either an armrest or a backing or whatever it's called so you can just add that on and I initially bought two to put one on each but I really like having that one just open to be really just like a real lounger type sofa and then this one is great if you want to sort of sit up more more upright I just wanted to get another shot of the floor rug um, it is I really love it I am so happy with this I did like the other rug that we had before but it was just quite a bit smaller and I think that just by having that extra large size rug makes the space feel bigger and obviously having the new sofas that really open up that space and this has just opened up the space so incredibly 
I'm so, so happy with the new sofas and just how much extra space it makes the place feel like it has. Like I can lie down in the middle of that floor space. The kids can sit on the floor and play games. It's just been honestly a game changer. And the fact that they are so lightweight, they're so easy to, to move around. I can move it around by myself. My kids can slide them around by themselves and I can definitely get them in and out of the apartment if I ever need to on my own without putting holes in the wall, which is also great. The covers are actually really, really easy to keep clean. I was kind of a little bit worried about having a white sofa. I've had a white fabric sofa before, obviously with little kids. Well, my kids aren't so little anymore, so I wasn't super worried, but I have put the cushion covers and even one of these through the wash. It got a little bit of a mark on it and they just washed up perfectly, straight in the washer, straight in the dryer and then straight back on. And it was a breeze to put these sofas together. It was so easy. Again, I'll leave that video where I built them linked in the description below. So guys, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed the cozy living room tour. I think now that it is just about done, besides just wanting to get another one of those from Big W. But honestly, so, so happy. I should have done this ages ago. And in fact, I think I preferred these sofas to the original King sofas that I was uh, originally saving for uh, and planning to buy. And honestly, these were, I'm gonna say they were like less than a third of the price of the King sofa. So obviously the King sofa is a fantastic quality sofa. I've had, I have had one before just for the savings in price because I had saved up for it and been saving and saving and saving for it because I had so much money left over. After purchasing the, the sofas, I was able to pick up also like the rug and some extra throws. Oh, I didn't mention where the throws were from. Um, so I really love everything to be soft and really cozy. I'm not about any, you know, sometimes you can get throw rugs and cushions that look nice, but they're really not nice to touch. I'm definitely tactile and I like everything to be really super soft, super cozy. So these are from Target. These are the Arctic throws. These ones are also from Target and I did buy these online so I didn't I didn't know exactly what they'd be like. Um, but these have washed up perfectly and they're not, I mean, they're not as super soft as this cloud blanket as my son Riley calls it. Uh, but they are really lovely and they're nice and they just add that little bit of a pop of color similar to the color of the H&M cushions that I've got over here. So these are both from H&M. I buy all my cushions pretty much from H&M. From I love it because you can buy the cushion covers separately so you're not having to buy, you know, new inserts. That way you just switch out the covers and you just keep the, the inserts in them. And they are feather inserts. So they are super comfy. And then just again, matching on this side with the second cloud blanket and then this Hannah knitted throw that's also from Target. Oh, and then the last thing. So this basket here, it's just where I put all the extra pillows uh, and sometimes I pop the throws in there. Uh, this one is from Ikea and it's actually huge. So it holds a ton. With again, just I really like having things that are soft and cozy, so really nice to touch. My old dog Wookie, oh, her little toy that she had, so we just pop him around in random spots just to keep the little memory of little Wookie alive. Um, and again, like this is what I mean about those cushions and throws and things that they might look nice, but they're not particularly the nicest to you know, touch or lean against. So that really is the end now of this cozy living room tour. I hope you've had a great time hanging out with me, having a look around. And I'm just going to leave you with a little sneak peek of what's coming up in my apartment tour coming soon. If you do want to know where anything is from, I will leave a link to my brand new website, which is just ready to launch now. It has links to absolutely everything that I could find throughout my whole apartment. 
If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It is great feedback for me. It helps my channel out a ton. If you're not already, be sure to subscribe before you go. Or better yet, hang out and watch another few videos. Have a great week. And as always, I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. It's not that you're